in my bipolar. If anything, this video could serve as proof of the roller coaster of emotions I go through in a day. If anything, I don't know what I'm doing anymore in any area of my life. And um, I don't even know what to say in this video. I don't even know if I should be recording this video. All right. So it is Cyber Monday, which means, oh, it is Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday. You know, I haven't known if I should address how I'm feeling and why I'm, I'm not uploading so much or if I should just not upload anything at all. I'm so conflicted because this is my job. Part of my job is to express myself and my life. I mean, that's what I have subjected myself to. That's what I chose to do. And so every moment's not gonna be like super uppity up and things, such a scatterbrain. Things have been happening. Um, someone recently passed away. His name was Brady and um, he was someone I knew since he was a child, since he was, since before he was born and just started college. I've been trying to figure out how to process that, but then in me thinking how I'm trying to process that, I feel guilty. Because I immediately think about the immediate family, the sister, the parents, how do they feel? And then I go through this cycle of like, well, okay, I shouldn't, like, I don't know. I feel guilty for feeling the way that I feel and responding the way that I respond. And then I, I feel like, you know, I have this trip that I have planned. Just like old times, huh? It's very important and I'm supposed to be happy about it and I am happy about it, but then I feel guilty about being happy about it because there's this loss. So I'm feeling happy and I'm feeling sad all at the same time. And I feel guilty for feeling both. <laughs> so then it's like, I just numb myself and I don't know what to feel. Cause then I start to think of other people's opinions. Like, oh, if he goes and does happy things, he's not being considerate of the person. Or if he mopes around, then he's being lazy or he's not working hard enough. So I'm, I'm trying to keep this trip as it's supposed to be. It's a, it's a vacation, okay? and I'm trying to let it be what it is and still validate how I feel. You can hear it in my voice, I know you can. <laughs> my RAM is full. Oh, it's fully loaded. I don't wanna deny myself. I don't want to deny how I feel. We shouldn't. I want to, it's too much about me. <laughs> See, I'm feeling guilty. Like... <laughs> I just hit my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez Louise. Um We all have our own experience as we're living, you know. Each person's experience is validated and I've I, I've said this before so many times that we tend to I tend to invalidate myself slash ourselves. Um, we feel the ways that we feel. What's important is how we respond to that feeling, how we react to it. And I care so much about others, and I'm not trying to like sound self-righteous, but I forget to care about myself. The weird balance here is I don't want people to perceive any of what I do as like attention seeking. I will happily admit when it is. The whole reason I express myself and make these videos where I'm vulnerable is not to garner attention. It's just to show up, just to show up. Cause I'm, I'm tired of uh, feeling, and this is my own doing, but feeling isolated and feeling like I have to give reasons as to why I want to create the things I want to create. Like I have to validate my creations with numbers. I don't like that especially when it's, you want it to be the thing that you live off of. I'm trying so hard to detach myself from numbers that it ruins everything. Like 
when you focus on trying to create for the hamster wheel that's keeping your channel turning <laughs> i'm not creating out of love anymore you know that's it would just be creating out of turning a wheel and i don't want to do that i want to create what i want to create for reasons i want to create it i want to show up so that i know and other people know i'm still here this is like probably super dramatic i don't mean it to be i'm just talking what's on my head you know because <sighs> if you keep showing up it's like work not that you have to show up even when you aren't feeling good sometimes you have to bear that that load sometimes not all the time sometimes we have to feel uncomfortable and be vulnerable i feel like i'm vulnerable most of the time <laughs> maybe too much some people would say uh but that's their prerogative i'm very excited to <laughs> i'm very excited to see my girlfriend as I know I've been probably bugging her, you know, <laughs> these freaking things I'm working on. And I'm, I'm excited for experiencing life because all I do is work. That's all I ever do is work. I play video games, but that's what, two hours out of the day. Every other moment of the day is fantasizing about getting something done and working. And I hate that I've become that. I'd be scrolling Instagram and stuff and I'd be like, how do these people have time to like take vacations? <laughs> Cause they make time, you moron. Just, I have to detach from numbers and that's not my value. <laughs> Let me say that, it's not my value. It's not a number, it's my creativity. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> like an old man, it's my creativity. <laughs> If you're still watching this, thank you. I mean, <laughs> I uh, I don't know why I'm uploading this, but I guess people just need to see, and I need to share. I need to I need to show up. I need to show up, and expression helps. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I gotta start kicking things up, making sure I go over my checklist for my packing because, good God. I had a really, really stressful time this morning because Best Buy sucks. I'm sorry, Best Buy. Please sponsor me when you get your shit together. Best Buy, I hope you see this. I hope you do see this. I'm gonna post this maybe on TikTok or something because I'm tired of people just taking advantage of other people. This is my hard on money I'm spending money. I'm definitely manic. What a time to be alive. Um, in short though, never buy anything from bestbuy.com online, ever. But I'm traveling tomorrow. And the reason I'm traveling, as you may or may not know, is I have a girlfriend who resides in the UK. So I will be going out to the UK to see her for Christmas and New Year's. It's a very exciting time. Uh, this will be the first time I've ever spent Christmas and New Year's, or either or, with a significant other. So it's a pretty big deal for me, like actually physically with. It'll also be the first Christmas and New Year's that I've spent not in church because I think there was only one time in my life that I can remember where I wasn't in church for New Year's Eve. As much as some people might not wanna hear that because I know I have some very Christian people here who follow me, I'm just happy to not be in church for these holidays because I want to experience other things. Um, so that's where my head is currently at. It's many other places. Um, I should probably pack up my food, right? I should probably pack, right? Mm -hmm.